we on? I said on my mark, one, two, and then you just like, I mean, <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> Gosh, <laughs> Am- amateur hour over here. What's up, everyone? Welcome to Cardboard from Mars. It's Nate and Nima. We're live. We're doing first, a- first stream of 2021, Nima. Whoa. We're, we've got preludes on, everyone. Shocker. Um, look at that. We got Valley Trust. Dude, we've got to go Valley Trust, right? Right. Oh, Business Empire is pretty good. Yeah, that one's sweet. Um, these aren't like amazing. Let's just see what we got for cards. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Viral enhancers. <laughs> That's this viral enhancers, space elevator, development center. Even microorganisms, another another science tag. Hey Q, what's up? This is not a beard, this is called a mustache. Yeah, this is this is uh, Nate's uh, 70s porn mustache. Um, it's in case I need to make a quick getaway, I can shave it. <laughs> and nobody will recognize me. All right, let's take a look at these corporations. I, I think we should go with Valley Trust, don't you? I think so too, yeah. Okay. So we take Valley Trust, and with Space Elevator, I think we take Supply Drop. Yeah, I see that. There, there is a there is a case for doing plant plant strategy right now. Just like hitting plants and then going with uh, the two plants off of that other thing. Yeah. So I, I, dome farming is, doesn't seem that good. It's got good tags, I will say. It does have good tags. Um, um, and uh, we with that we would have eight eight MC production. Which I mean, the other thing too is that we're going first. So I mean, Polar Industries uh, gives us two cards. Um, yeah, I, I agree with you. We should take Business Empire no matter sure, what. Business Empire. Then you you choose the other one, man. Well, uh, pick Dome Farming and let let let's look at our hand again. Okay. Uh, okay, I mean trees would have been good. Design microorganisms. Nah. I think it's good, man, because like with with Development Center, Design Microorganisms, and Viral Enhancers, we've got a nice composer, little package. Too. Uh, oh yeah, for sure. We should take decomposers too. I think this is looking like a plant thing. The only thing is that if we take space elevator, we need steel to sell. And yes. su- supply drop gives us both money to right. buy the space elevator and right. it gives us steel to sell. Yeah, there's two ways to go about it. That's yeah. So you you choose whichever one you want. I think we should have fun and do the plant strategy. All right, let's go plants and business empire. Okay. So then and you want to pick up Development center decomposers, design microorganisms. Yep. Uh, you want? Do you want? Should we take the elevator or skip it? I think we don't now. Okay. Enhancers, and uh, you want to pick up a power for the development center? Oh yeah, maybe. Probably pretty good, honestly. Yeah. Like. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you want heat trappers for that? Uh, I think so. Okay, that could be good. It's cheap. We could just, yeah, uh, Carpe just said we could just hope that we, on the third uh, the third uh, prelude, that we get a way to make steel. That's true. But, I don't, you know, like, whatever. I don't know. Space Elevator, I don't, I don't think that's our strategy anymore. All right, let's just skip it. You good with this? Yeah, I'm good with this. All right. Um, <laughs> he doesn't like your decision, Nima. Well... What are you gonna do? Sorry, Q. Dude, the biggest engine card is us. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to think if there's I... any, if there's do we have any cards? We have no cards to abuse with that. Um, you know that one that lets you play a card with no like ignoring global requirements. Right. I was hoping we'd get that or something, but. Well, what do you think of that play? I mean, do you, do, like, w- were you wanting to take Space Elevator? Well, if I were trying to win, I would have pushed more on the Space Elevator plan. But I, you know what? Like, I don't think, I don't think it matters that much. Um, I mean, it, I, I do think that, like, with the with the Preludes, the games are short enough that these like sort of engine building economy cards are are not as good. Like, honestly, like, it becomes a point grab. So, 
it is good in the sense that you're you're gonna end up getting the money back from that. So you, it's almost like having two free points. Um, yeah. But uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm cool messing around with something else. Let's see what we got here. Oh, I like the aquifer. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Um, did anybody pick up heat? Um, they got a heat. Well. Oh oh, we already have a target for our energy. That's so brutal. We can hit uh, Helion with that. Because I was thinking the other thing we could consider is power. But I think we just take aquifer and just get the cards and the titanium. Yeah, I think Aquifer is good. Or maybe the cards in the steel, because we have we have for heat trappers. Also good. Let's or take maybe that. just maybe just all cards. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Well, we're taking two cards for sure, right? For sure. Um. What do you, I mean? So do you, the question is: Would you rather have four credits? Or first, see what you got. Oh, good point. I didn't even think about that. Um. Geothermal and energy tapping. Wow. Um, dude, let's take more cards, man. Come on. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm landing more cards. Let's do some cards, dude. Come on, that's so fun. All right. Um, and we got Convoy. That's sick. There you go. Yeah, nice. All right, so we need Decomposers to be at 3%. Um, I think that we just played... Uh, the question is, do we just play microorganisms right now? Um, I mean, it would be nice to just heat trap and then set up development center next turn, but we miss a bunch of plants. Right. On the flip side, we miss plants because we're playing develop de microism before viral enhancers. So right. like if we go, we could this turn just play heat trappers and pass. And then see what we get. Well, okay, that's a good card. Oh, Base okay, station. well. Getting the discounts. We got JTAM over here. I think this guy's just going to quit when we hit his heat production. <laughs> <laughs> so, go to the hand again? Yeah. I feel like our options are either play microorganisms now, or we play heat trappers and set up uh, um, the uh, development center on the next turn. So, I, well, I think we want to do those on the same turn so that we're not floating the power. We're, there's no way we're going to be able to avoid floating power. Because the thing is, if we want to use the development center next turn, we need the power this turn. But we already have one of the energy. We have the energy tapping, so the other one requires. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. Yeah. So the other the other one requires two energy tags, I think. Yeah, I, think I don't. You're right. I think we're safe. I mean, so the question is, do we want to draw a card with development center, or do we want to just play a microorganism? I'm leaning draw card. Oh hell's yeah! Okay, let's do the heat trappers. This guy's gonna be so annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he just quits. That was so fun, Nima. I love that. <laughs> ah, you're letting the hate flow through you. Um, all right. It's going to say yellow has quit and will be replaced by an AI. I don't know, man. That's not as bad as like getting asteroid mining consortium on you or something. Yeah, oh, for sure. No, for sure. Um, although that's pretty bad for him because that's too money. Oh, I know. All right, so I think we're just passing here. Um, yeah, let's just pass and see what we get. And yeah. I mean, the nice thing is that we have eight money production already. Like, that's not bad. That's pretty good for yeah. turn gen one. That's These guys good. have... Oh, he's at 28 already, too. That's pretty good. <laughs> I don't know how he got up to 28. He must well, have he, had, he had the asteroid prelude and then yeah, another, the, yeah. another asteroid or something. Or... Okay, so... Building industries is not bad. It's pretty good. We could also take search for life. Um, oh, I would take building industries. Yeah, it's probably pretty good because we ha we have the, the now. I wish that we had sort of played the uh, geothermal, but we have energy tapping, so that that might be a way to turn that on. All right, I'm cool with uh, building industries. Um, house printing, new card. 
Yeah, that's from the prelude. It's like okay. I mean, it's okay. It's it's like not that good. I think we just take zeppelins. <sighs> okay. Uh, I don't know. I Do might you want to just cut this as a piece of building tag? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Okay. I don't think we should play that because it's 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 basically 13 to buy it, and this game's gonna end on Gen 8 or 9. Do you, do you know who that that card is made for? It's Vitor. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Oh my gosh, kelp farming. Are you kidding me? Ooh. Um, okay, so we'll take kelp farming. Okay, so we should definitely get uh, our our plant production up in this game. Yes. Let's see what preludes did we have dumpster. Um... We had the the bank one gives you six mega credit production and minus six money and then yeah thank you business empire dome farming <laughs> thank you. you guys remember the names better than I do <laughs> dude dome farming dude that's the story of my life <laughs> hmm <laughs> interesting I, I will I will allow I'll allow it it's still a family stream Nima <laughs> technically. <laughs> Um, I hope somebody makes energy because I want to steal it. <laughs> well, Point Luna's got a decent titanium business going. Eight cards. We have nine cards. And he has eight cards. So what milestone are we going for? Building Industries Geothermal and Development Center gives us five building tags. That's pretty good. We could edge over towards Builder. Yep. I think that's our best path so far. Um, okay, so let, we have 34 cash. We're going to play Development Center to draw a card. Mm -hmm. I really want to play Building Industries, but I don't want to lose our card draw. So that's why, that's why I want someone to play a power. Right. Would it be worth it anyway? To have the extra, yes, because we have to get rid of our power. To I know, to... I mean, like, would it be worth it just to take the power anyway, to get the two steel production? Um. Well, that's what I mean. No, no, these guys don't have power yet. Oh, you mean to play geothermal? No, no, I'm saying like, if no one else plays a power card for us to steal, should we still play building industries? Well, that's the question. I mean, probably, but that's not the fun thing to do. <laughs> sure. Nima, this stream is about entertainment. It's not about winning, okay? Well, Come I, on. I agree. I'm trying to have fun here. But... All right, so let's... Uh, yeah, they're not going to do it. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and do... Uh, let's start with uh, Development Center. And then we'll just draw a card. So we have 25 credits, which means we can play 14 and 11. Well, we'd have exactly, yeah, we wouldn't be able to play the building industries. Mm. But yeah, we, could go, we could go microorganisms, geothermal, and then next turn we could play uh, building industries. I mean, I don't well, know. Well, don't, I mean, what about like viral enhancers or decomposers or? Well, we want to get those down too, but. The question is, do we want to get... I mean, dude, come on. It's all about drawing cards. It, it's not about winning, Nima. It's about drawing cards. <laughs> do you understand? Don't you understand what's happening here? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I apologize. I... Okay. I mean, we are just getting started. It's a new year. So I'm going <laughs> to I'm gonna forgive you. See, this guy went full science. I'm jealous already. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's our strategy. All right. Let's see what we got here. Envoy. And GHG effect. Oh, GHG. And that's another they, building tag. I mean, with, with geothermal, you know, that, I, that's, uh, yeah, that's not very good, is it? Oh. Not with Helion. But we don't want Helion to just get all the, the heat either. Um. All right, here's what I think we should do. I think we should... These guys don't have any energy, right? I think we should maintain our card draw. So we do have enough for viral enhancers microorganisms. Mm -hmm. 
The only bummer about deploying these things before decomposers is that we're losing a little bit of value, but... Um, not a ton. Not a ton. Um, Plus, like, 3%, that, that needs 3% anyway, so... I mean, we could... Probably the right play is to building industries now and then skip one turn of card draw. But it is annoying. Yeah, building industries is very good for us right now. Let's skip it and wait one more turn and try and do energy tapping instead. Let's go let's go enhancers into microorganisms. Alright. Dude, this is a fun stream, dude. The <laughs> fun stream, dude. No fun allowed on the other streams. <laughs> Um, all right, let's see here. We could really use protected Habs right about now. Yes, that would be quite good for us. All right, let's see what we got here. This game is going to come down to who draws the, uh, the, the science payoffs. Cause if, if the point Luna player draws those science payoffs, we're, we're toast. I think he's got four tags now. Oh my. Wow. We have to take demos just to protect our plants. Yeah, I also try to get some. I, I think we probably take it too. I agree. It does suck passing titanium mine, but again, like these things are not as good in these games, like that that are so short. Mm-hmm. Um, and hope that somebody plays the reservoir to get us closer to kelp farming. Yeah. Interesting. Um, okay, so this is odd. Uh, so Mitch, point, point Luna passed the Jovians up to us. I think we take Heather, man. Yeah. I think we go plants in this game. Just go heavy plants. Go with that? Sure. I think that the Jovians are a trap in Preludes. Ooh, imported hydrogen is quite good for us. Yeah. Um, because it's going to let us play the plant this turn rather than mm -hmm. float them. And um, it puts another ocean down, getting us closer to kelp farming. So I think we take that. Unfortunately, nobody took that. We can take Demos to have control. You want to take these three? Yeah, we're going to be poor, but not that poor. I mean, we don't have a ton to do. I, I don't. I'm not sure this building industries is coming online, honestly. But eh. sure, yeah, take the three. We need a city, unfortunately. I know. I've been thinking that. Um, we've seen a couple of them go away already. So let's see. So we could just put. We can put the ocean here and take four cash back. Yeah. Um, we could just put. A plant on a card over here. Not bad, just putting a plant, a naked plant out here because they can't take all of it. You know, like even if they put a city here that gives us this spot, you know. Right. Yeah, we don't want it over by Noctis. So the question is, do, do I play this imported hydrogen as the first action or do I, um, just in order to get the plant down or do we float these plants to draw a card? I, my preference is to not float plants. I agree. But I think particularly because he has four titanium. Although that's only 12, four, ten, four times three is 12. So he's got 24. He can't play giant asset, ice asteroid. Oh, hello. All that's right. his turn. That should be most of his turn. Okay, that's his turn. Oh, wow. and he, oh he played the power for us. Okay, <laughs> so that's, that might change things a little bit. So if we play... That means that we can we can do it all, Nima. We can do it all. I want it all. Let's let's go ahead and do this now and play our plant. What do you think? Yeah, do it. All right, I'm gonna get the money back. We're gonna need all the money. I'm gonna play this plant right here. Okay. Draw a card. Because, dude, drawing cards is what it's all about. It's a good turn. 
go with Drew. Robotic workforce. Oh, that's good. Oh snap! We can uh, we could robotic workforce uh, the the one that takes this guy's uh, uh, heat production. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a crazy idea: geothermal uh, building industries robotic workforce. Do we have the money for that? We don't have the money for that. No. Dang. So we're gonna play. We're gonna play. Um, we're gonna hit that guy. We're gonna play energy tapping, and then uh, so that we can still keep drawing cards and play building industries. Right. So we're gonna go building industries this turn and energy tapping. That that leaves us with four cash. Okay. Let's see what we drew. Arctic algae. Oh, not too late. Yeah, I think it's a little late. So I think we play building industries now. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. How are we doing on, on builder? Four to three. And then we get our power back by energy tapping Helion. Damn, I wish we could get geothermal down i mean we could be really mean in robotic workforce and do and get our energy back by copying gh uh by copying uh <laughs> you know the one i'm talking about mm -hmm. um that also gives us another science tag i think i'd rather hold this though yeah, that's what I think too. So I'm gonna play energy tapping and hit uh, Helion. That guy's gonna quit. <laughs> <laughs> that is a lot of hate directed towards him. But it, this one was kind of more incidental. He was just the only one that had any. Well, well actually, the first time too. That's why it's so annoying. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna give the old sorry. Yeah. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. <laughs> That's my classic. All right. Um. All right. So maybe if we get a city. That would be nice. Ooh, alloys. Uh, oh, Space Hotels is interesting. We have enough, but we it's... Have it. The thing is, though, is it, it's, eh. it's going to cost 15. It's going to take three generations. Like, it's it's okay. Yeah. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong. I like it, but... Um, if we had some way to make it cheaper, it'd be better. It is really good for Point Luna. That's one of the comments here. Uh, we're going even down, so we're passing to Point Luna. But like passing him advanced alloys is just as good, right? Yeah, I th yeah, I think you're right. We and take I, alloys, and I'd rather have, um, I'd rather have the alloys for us. I agree, and it's a science tag. Too. That's that's um, why, that's why, and it's cheaper. Yeah, you're right. Alloys is the pick. Okay, we might we might even play it. Um, ooh, sabotage, sabotage. Sabotage. I think we should we take it and sabotage Point Luna. Got seven <laughs> titanium. Oh man, that would be pretty good, wouldn't it? Why don't we take Rover just to have another building tag? Yeah, yeah. That's actually not a bad play either. I don't think it's worth it. I would, but because we do we do have quite a bit to do now. So don't these we? guys only have seven cards each. We could get Planner. Like, if we take three cards out of this and buy a card, we're basically going to get Planner next gen. Yeah. So we're taking Alloys. We're taking... We're taking Sabotage. What do you think? Yeah, for sure, those two. Um, well, what do we want to play this round? So, like, if we wanted to get Planner, like, do we just Demos? Good question. I don't know. We can figure that out. Um, 
I, I might not we, have. I think we take Rover. Okay, let's 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 see the tags here. We've got four tags. Um, how many tags do these guys have? Three and not many. One. So why don't we take Rover as a hedge for builder? We take sabotage because we want to get planner. This puts us at 12 cards, 13 with our draw action. And then we just don't play a ton of cards this turn. Yeah, I don't think we can play Demos now. We can save advanced alloys for next turn when we have yeah. a little bit more. What do you think about that plan? I think I'm okay with it. All right, so, so let's start by just drawing a card. How many cards these guys kept? Only got he didn't keep hardly yeah so we've we've got we've got planner locked up. Um, you should see what we drew first, honestly. Mining area. Oh, interesting. So we don't have a way to use that, but it is a good building tag. Do we have any? Um, we don't have any other tiles. Unfortunate. That's one. That's one reason why this is, a, you know, not the best yeah. play. But it's, you know, it's good to draw cards. Um, we will be able to get mining area down pretty quickly, though. If our plants survive, we can play another plant here and then mining area onto this titanium spot. Eventually, mm -hmm. um, so the question is, what do we do this turn? Yes, that is the question. So, like I we said, don't we don't have can't... enough for Demos. Nope. Okay, there's that. Yeah, he had a discount. That's a good card for him. Well, what else do we have? Can we look? Um, we can't play do... this yet. We can't play this yet. Do we do nothing? We could play Arctic Algae. Uh, it's not terrible. It gives us two plants, which means that next turn we will have enough to um, we will have enough to play a plant, assuming we obviously that we don't get hit by a plant haste. So right. So at this point, it's it's ten plant. It's ten plants, right? So that's one greenery. It's it's not terrible. The bummer is that we don't have decomposers down yet. Um, Do you know what we? That could get it. I mean, we we say it all the time, but that could get us into um, Gardner. Oh, for sure. No, we we we're, we're alive for a bunch of milestones. Yeah. So, I mean, the thing is, okay, he's he's still got enough money to do some stuff. He does. He's got a couple of heat bumps. I don't know. I mean, we could just we could just play it next turn after we claim everything if if it's still available well like most cards i don't know like if we're gonna play it we play it now because then we like there's you know it's fairly likely someone's gonna play oceans i don't i don't mind just waiting because this money is going to be valuable i'd rather play right. kelp farming so if somebody yeah. does play oceans i'm fine with it and then if they don't then we can play arctic algae as our backup okay i like that okay i'm just gonna pass then yeah that's fine Dude, this isn't about winning, Nima. It's about having fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I've heard you say that once or twice. All right, dude. So tell me the truth, dude. How do you like my mustache? <laughs> it's pretty freaking awesome. I've been working on the edges a little bit. Yeah, dude. You need some stiff wax, man. That's what you need. Um, oh, dude. I've got some stiff wax. <laughs> <laughs> stiff wax is my middle name, buddy. Yeah, I set you up for that pretty yeah, good. Yeah, you did. That was too easy. Come on, man. That's that's like a softball. <laughs> <laughs> Having fun and growing facial hair. That's right. Um. So I told you I have this like really. <laughs> I have this. I I got. I have this new position at work that's like a very high profile, high responsibility <laughs> position. <Yep. laughs> So I think um, I'm gonna have to shave this before I, I have my first <laughs> that first meeting, but I'm gonna enjoy it until then. Yeah, man. That, those those uh, I, you know I've done that several times in the past. You know, I'll let this grow out like a ton, and yeah. then 
just have fun with different facial hairstyles. Have you used the wax before? No, I have not. So I got some, but it's pretty hard to use. It's not like... Oh, really? Well, so like... Oh, that physics complex. Interesting. Yeah. Must have a, a, one of the payoff cards. Either that or he just wants a science stuff. Yeah, no, you're right. You must have one. <laughs> Looking like Kratos. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> boy. I'm going to start calling you boy. All right, so should, we're going to try and win this game with milestones. What do you think? Uh, there is like a chance we just get all three milestones here. I don't know. I think I think it's unlikely, but it's definitely it's possible. Um, yeah, it's unlikely. The fact that we have a lot of money is certainly good. Yeah, they both they both must have science payout. But you know what? We also have a lot of science tags, so um, one never knows. One never knows. Okay, now let's take a look here. Lava oh, tube settlement yeah, is which, interesting. Oh, yeah. God, all I, of these are good. Dude, we want lava tube. Dude, you want my lava tube? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, dude. <laughs> Too easy. Dude, I don't want to hear about your lava tube, man. Save that for the bathroom break. I mean, herbivores is also good for us because... Uh, and I mean, passing optimal arrow breaking is not an awesome proposition, but I <sighs> honestly, even Radcam is good. Nah, Radcam. I we do like, I do like Lava Tube though, because it get, well, it also turns on our mining area. Mm -hmm. I think it's gotta be Lava Tube. We need the city, we've got the power. I we've got the so. power. Okay, do you wanna just oh. cut building tags? Are we set for all the, the plant cards we need? I guess the other question is we could just cut mining expedition so people don't hit our plants. It's not a big hit. No, but it's enough. It's enough of a hit. I don't know. This card's not that good. I don't think these guys have... Nobody has uh, steel production really anyway. I think we can pass that. The only thing is if we were to get something like um, insects, it's nice to have all these... these, uh, the these... Thi Here's the thing, like, heat's going pretty quick in this game, so tundra farming might turn on fairly quick. Tundra farming's not that good. I, 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 think, it's, I think it's Noctis, or it's, or it's uh, a mining expedition just to protect our... our um, Okay, I don't have a strong opinion here, so go for it. I'm just going to take this. The other... Okay. Um, ooh, indentured workers gives us more money. We already have minus two VP, though. Dude, this isn't a coward stream. We need all the money. This is going to be a big turn for us. Let's take yeah. it. I think okay. it's okay. Um, uh, we're going to want a lot of money, Nima, because we want to fund the milestone. We want to play all these yeah. cards. Like, this so it's, only five, it's only five money. Ooh. So we need to take uh, two cards minimum. Oh yeah, right, planner. So I, I I think we take these two. The one thing about mining expedition is it does get us closer to um, decomposers without burning tags. But I don't think that's necessarily a huge issue. It might be good to grab herbivores though, because we are building a little bit of a plant engine here. I think we should grab that. Oh, yeah, okay. It's gonna be good. Uh, uh, this is going to be good. Trust me. Trust okay. me. Trust me, Nima. I'm going to love it. Uh, and I think we should take indentured workers, dude. It's worth it. If you say so, I don't get that. Dude, one. we're not losing this game by one point, okay? <laughs> we that, that has happened. <laughs> nope, never. <laughs> never. Well, All right, we don't so need to draw a card. But... Ten cards, five cards... And he's got how much? He's got a lot of heat. Oh, no, okay. Okay. All right, so what we're going to do is take Planner and draw a card. Or maybe we should do, let's see here. Do you want to get the Lava Tube down? Ooh, that's, yeah. We should probably get Lava Tube down in Mining Area right away. Okay. 
He's out of position. That's so good for us that he's out of position. So let's get... Let's do... Okay. We need to play Alloys into... Oh, yeah. We do have Rover. Oh, that's annoying. We got a lot to do, huh? So, okay. So let's play... Let's play Rover I... into... What? Well, I think we do gotta do alloys first. Yeah, alloys into rover. Okay, we got we got a fun planner for. <laughs> we got oh my god, there's so many things to do. Okay. <laughs> well, I thought you were okay not doing planner now. Oh no, we're definitely getting planner. What are you talking about? I, I don't know, dude. Come on, man. I thought you could. I thought you were thinking you could float it, but. No, we're doing planner. Come on, Nima. Ah, sorry. Stop being mesmerized by my stash. <laughs> would you trust? You would trust a man with this face. Uh, I, I would trust that man to do certain things, <laughs> but I'm not sure I would trust that man. <laughs> Carp Carpet Velm says it's a real distraction. So I saw somebody over uh, New Year. And I, I had a face mask on, and I took my face mask off, and they started laughing, and they're like, "Where did you get that fake mustache?" <laughs> <laughs> they're like, "It looks so real," and I was like, <laughs> "It's glue is amazing." <laughs> okay, I'm glad that he played that because that means it's not a building tag, right? He's basically out of cash, except for he's got some titanium. Yeah, quite a bit actually. All right, so we're going to go. Happy alloys. All right, next we're going to draw our card. Then alloys? Yes. Alloys. Alloy. Power plant, power plant. Okay, so huh. he, he did that so he could have physics complex on. I guess he didn't have the payoff. Interesting. He has physics complex. No, I know, but the science payoff. He played quantum extractor. Oh. We got fish. That's great. Oh, I see. Which that's good with. Um... Oh, fish is good. Yeah. Yeah, that is Con good. Fish and convoy is awesome. All right, so let's go. Um... We could sabotage him. Might be good. Just to protect our stuff. Dis. Oh, that got discarded. Let's, sab be... Let's sabotage Point Luna. Is that really what we want to do right now? Yeah, why not? Because we have so many things to do. Well, I know, but he's got five titanium. Like, if we, this like prevents <laughs> him from doing anything. Yeah, right. Okay, <laughs> screw it. We're having fun. Dude, hell yeah, we are. He's going to hate us. <laughs> That's so brutal, man. <laughs> Oh, it's so good. Okay, and then let's go ahead and play alloys. God, that's brutal. What a what a, the alloys is such a knife too, right? I know. You're gonna take all your titanium and then boost our minerals. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, so let's go. Okay, so now we're gonna play tube into mining area. Oh no, let's play rover construction. Yep, rover okay. lava. Mining area. Okay, so we're gonna play Rover first. I'm the Pappy. Where are you? Rover into tube. Where's my tube? Okay. I'm gonna put that bad boy up here. Oh, really? Well, because we want to play mining area. We have to. It has to go in one of these two spots. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna play it here. And then I'm going to play Mining Area. Does this put us on eight? Seven. So we need one more building tag. Um, OK, so then I think that we go ahead and uh, let's Geothermal. Oh, we can play Arctic Algae right now to get a plant. Let's do that. And let's nice, put, nice call. Wow. Yeah. And let's put this here. So now we're set up for gardener and for builder. 
Yeah, wow. So now let's go ahead and geothermal so we can get our power back, right? This is why you get that card, okay? Come on now. Get which card? The one that gives you all the, the free money. Okay. Oh. And then we could robotic workforce um, uh, our building industries. Yeah, that's what I was saying earlier. Because we have, we have one extra power now. Yep. Yeah, you ready? I'm ready. Or we could do dome farming. Almost as good. Well, no, because this is three nah. each. Yeah, let's, let's take the. Let's take the. Uh... Yeah. Also, um, where are we at now on builder eight? So we have enough for builder. All right, dude, that was a good turn. Hell yeah, man. And then oh, let's see. If we can get some like oceans down, we could even get gardener next generation. Now, now I wish we had kept Noctis farming because we have all this steel. Maybe that was. Uh... We'll get some more building. Whoever whoever said that before is probably right. I I I, um, I concede the point. Oh oh, eco zone. Are you kidding me? That is very good for us. Yes. Okay. We gotta take eco zone. Someone's gonna hit us with higher raiders because we. But eco zone is just so good for us. <laughs> well, let's see if we can spend that steel first. All right. So we need another city. We um we should keep our eyes out for that. For sure. So we have Builder in the bag, and then one more plant at, uh, ooh, Gene Repair. Oh. So the bummer about passing Steelworks, that this guy's yeah. got six. Oh, man. I think we pass it, though, because the thing is, he's got Physics Complex, so he's going to want to put this energy into Physics Complex. He's not going to Steelworks. And gene repair right. is really good for us. It is good. I think we take gene repair. Are you cool with that? Yeah, I think you convinced me. Like we really don't want our our oxygen cannibalized, but I think you convinced oh, me it's not going to. Ooh, we got birds. birds. Yeah. birds. <laughs> Car Car Bay's like he's definitely going to steal works. That's okay, honestly. Like um, we don't have a huge plant engine yet. It's not like that's what we're doing. So do we want birds? Oh yeah. Oh, hired raiders came around. Um, I think we could skip that. We're taking eco zone gene repair for sure, and we take birds. I don't Let's know. See, do yeah. these guys have plant production? I don't know about birds. The All heat's right. gonna go quicker. I can skip that if you want. I I, I don't feel strongly about it either way, but I That's I think I'd probably skip it. I think we're good. And now you convinced me because we already have the. It's two points for 13, exactly. but we, we have fish. other ways. Yeah, well, I think we're good. I think you convinced me. All right, so we really want to get kelp farming down if we can this turn. Um, we could... I don't think that's going to happen, though. All right, so let's see what we got here. Ooh, AI. Oh, oh wow. Rut row. Rut row Scooby. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's draw a card. And let's take Builder. Woo! We're going to be teed up next turn for Gardner. So let's see here. Because, uh, oh, we got Giant Ice Asteroid. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> um, Convoy, actually, we could just start off next turn by playing Convoy, which gives us the plant. Um. No, we don't want to do that. Man, it would be so nice to play a giant dice asteroid this turn. Okay, we can play Heather. Um, oh, okay. If somebody plays a bump to the oxygen here or a bump to the heat, I should have I should have done that one at a time because we're gonna need to slow roll a little bit on this turn. I mean, the thing is, Nima, if we get three milestones, we should just be trying to end the game quickly. Um, so I'm actually fine playing all of these cards and just terraforming the crap out of it. Like, if we have a plus 15 points on milestones, like, that's, I don't know. Sure. Know. That's fine. He's going, he's going, uh, 
Jobs. We did pass on one other bumper or multiplier, so we got to keep that in mind. It's his first yeah. Jovian, though. It's good to know. Man, God, there's so much. Really wish we could get that decomposers down. Yeah. Um, he's basically done for the turn. So I guess what we're doing. Does he have a heat bump? He does not. He has a heat bump. So I think we should play something. You want to play just gene repair? It's okay. I mean, yeah, sure. We'll pass. All right. So I hope that I hope that J Tam bumps the heat once, because that turns on Moss or Heather, which we could play this turn to give us the bump to start off the next generation, so we can play a plant and take Gardener. Right. But even if we don't, you know, we still have the asteroid. We do, but it would just be nice to protect everything. Mm hmm what's it's that? nice that we go ahead sorry it's nice that we got the asteroid and demos down and it really protects our plants i know it's awesome um man we really need one more city because we're going to be laying a lot of plants down yep all right here we go big moment come on j tam bump that heat <laughs> you can do it buddy bump it bump that heat bump that heat yeah, there really isn't that much plant hate, to be honest with you. And I think we saw a virus earlier as well. We did. Yeah, so that means... Someone else. might have taken yeah, it, though, right? Yeah, someone might have taken it. He's thinking about it, but, dude, you should go ahead and bump that heat, buddy. You want to bump <laughs> that heat. You love that heat. Although, honestly, I really want to get decompos... We really want to get these decomposers down. All right. Yeah, there we go. All right, I'm going to play the... Um, that's so annoying. I'm going to play Heather. We're going to lose one more bump out of... Uh, I mean, you honestly, dude, you could make an argument. I mean, we're going to be short. I guess, I guess you could make an argument that we start next generation with Ice Asteroid and then deploy all this stuff to keep all the... Because this is very synergistic, all of this. Oh yeah, Munson's gonna make a good point with playing Eco Zone first too. Well, but we, I, what, ideally, the first thing we do is decomposers, because mm -hmm. this gets two, this gets two, almost a point from Eco Zone. Yeah, let's I, just pass. I think we go. Let's just pass. Yeah, let's pass. No, no, man. No, like. What do you mean no? I know I don't know. Oh. Let's pass. It's all. It'll be more fun. <laughs> Boom, done. Uh, Dude, we want it all, man. We want it all. Uh, I mean, but so you want to play Ice Asteroid? I don't know what I want to do, Nima. Come on. Do I look like somebody that has a plan? <laughs> it it sure seemed like it for a second. But... All I all I know. All I know, Nima, is that we lead off the next generation, and we're in a good position here. Nobody's taking mayor. I don't know. The safer play would have been to play Moss there, just to make sure we could take that. But um, I don't think that anybody's going to be able to 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 get. Uh, the only one that they could get before us would be mayor. No, not likely. Happening. No, it's not happening. I don't even matter. That I, no, not happening. Very unlikely. Dude, let's just face it, man. We're crushing. I think we're going to get all three milestones, man. I think I called it. Dude, you called it. We also have a crap load of. Uh, we also have a crap load of steel. So just keep that in mind. I know. I saw that. I should have kept that Noctis farming. That was stupid. Oh well. Okay, bushes. Food factory is not the dumbest thing. Yeah, it gives us a steel outlet. 
Passing tech demonstration kind of sucks, but um, I, I kind of like bushes here, man. I mean, you could also convince me about microbes just because it's a way to dump our steel, but... Um, yeah. I like bushes here. Okay. Everyone loves them. Dude, they're, it's good. They're good. I mean, remember, we have viral enhancers. Oh, Noctis. Oh, yeah. There we go. That's very nice for us. It sucks passing Lagrange, but Noctis is great for us. Yeah, that's what we want. One more power generator would be great. Pre preferably a power generator that... We've is, drawn you know, enough cards right now to where I wouldn't be sad if we lost that. No, Nima. Stop. <laughs> Stop that. Ooh, Hackers? Do we have a way to make heat? Oh, we do. We have GHG, so we could take uh, Tropical Resort. Oh my god. All the hate. Ha! Monson with that mustache, how can you pass bushes? That's great. <laughs> I've never seen a bush that I've passed. All right, let's, uh, <laughs> let's Tropical Resort. Okay, so let us discuss. Let us discuss our plan, Mima. Yes. Well, we want another we want another two plants down. So how do we get that? No, we already have two. We just need one. So let's go. We're going to take Noctis for sure. Ooh, Food Factory came around. Oh, interesting. Let's take that. Yeah, I think so. Okay. And the, do you want to take bushes as well? I like it. I mean, look at all the stuff so. it triggers off of. I think right? so. Okay. So let's take those three. So here's the question, Nima. Do we start with giant ice asteroid? The, or do we play... I, okay, I okay. the other thing is Noctis also does it for us. I was going to say, I don't think we can afford an ice asteroid and do the things we want to do. So let's do Noctis and play a plant. Okay. That's actually a perfect start, because then the plant bumps us to three so the first thing we can do is decomposers and just line them all up that's perfect this is great it's gonna be great it's gonna be great okay and i think with this one let's go ahead and play this plant let's just play it here take a couple plants back seems good all right, so now our first action next time, do not let me forget, Nima, to fund the gardener. Yes, sir. So now decomposers is online. So we fund, we fund gardener, we play decomposers, and then we start laying out all of our plant stuff. Yeah, eco zone. Uh, we're and honestly, this is this is great, dude. We we have a great setup because once we deploy all these plants, we can just start dropping all of our our bombs. Yep. Okay. Yeah, Dan's right, Nate. We're gonna lose our draw. What's going on with that? I know. I'm I'm pretty bummed about that. I'm gonna be so upset. I am pretty I'm pretty disappointed about that, Nima. But I'll live. Alright, where oh Sucks. that's nice that he played that plant because now we can play our eco zone our uh, eco zone over here. Oh yeah. We could also play eco zone on Ascreus Mons to make sure nobody uh, comes after our uh, uh, nobody puts a city here, because this is a very annoying spot for a city for us. Mm. Draw a card. Enjoy it. That's our last card, Nima. <laughs> um, Ganymede. Nice. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Very nice. Ooh, I got to twirl my mustache for that one. <laughs> that's true. You, you, you can. Oh my God! You can twirl your mustache now. How, how great is it? <laughs> a villain. <laughs> Now you just need to, like, tie up some damsel on the train tracks. And... Dude, what do you think about playing Eco, eco Zone here? It's a, it's a little defensive, but it gives, us, it gives us three 
three plant spots that are totally protected. Yeah. I don't I don't see a high likelihood that someone would play a city there though. Not right away. That seems like a like a real late game type of thing if it were to happen. Well, I don't know, that is a card. That's a card, man. Card's a card. <laughs> He's got AI central, so I don't that person wouldn't. So let's let's go ahead and get our decomposers down. Yep. I'm gonna put the microbes onto the card here. Oh. And then let's go ahead and play food. Uh, well, we can hold off on that, but I say Eco I say we do it, dude. Let's do uh, let's do eco zone onto that spot. Let's draw a card. All right, sure. Why not? Dude, watch this. That's awesome. <laughs> Amazing. All right. Good God. So let's take a look here. So now we're going to play. We're almost in herbivores range, too. So we're going to play Heather. Um, and then I guess I guess the bummer about this line. Oh, we got mine, too. We got we got all the steel. Uh, the bummer about this line is that we're we're delaying kelp one turn, but that's that's fine. Whatever. Um, Man, look at all that power. I mean, like card power not actual power yeah so how are we doing on points he's got five vp he's got eight we have four minus one i think we have three hey we're out of the negatives we are out of the negative you knew that <laughs> was, you knew that was coming but guess what it doesn't matter because it really doesn't matter endless steel I hope he bumps one more time because we want to get bushes on this turn. That would be awesome. Oh, there's no bumps, unfortunately. Oh, he's got a bump. Okay, so we need a slow roll here. Because uh, uh, Mitch is going to play a bump, which means we can play our um, bushes. So we'll just play one action here. Dude, this game ended up pretty good, huh? I know. It's, I, I had a feeling the plant strategy might be fun. Go ahead and play another. Yeah. Dude, look at all that value that we're getting off of the uh, eco zone decomposers combo. Super sweet. I I, I want uh, protected halves more than ever now. <laughs> yeah, I mean the the thing is, uh, as they mentioned in the chat, most of the big cards are out. Um, yeah, but there's still like uh, I don't think we've seen predators. We haven't seen predators. Predators at thirteen percent oxygen though, so or twelve or something. So I think it's. That's going to be the last thing, it seems like. So I think we'll play Mine and Food Factory this turn. Um, because we can. And then I just hope he bumps so that we can play Bushes. That would be awesome. And... Yeah, and then we just start... I mean, we just start blowing up everything. <laughs> like ice asteroid next turn remember we're gonna get so many plants back with ice asteroid too. i know it's gonna be great domed crater let's see where we played it nice perfect you go down south where we don't want to play our plants and he bumped the heat wow Blocked i mean off it's just too. Are are they? Is this like? Is this three? <laughs> do, do we have a fan playing this? And watch the screen? <laughs> are they? Are they just like setting us up? Um, this this game has been very fun, Nima. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> so, dude, we're gonna we're gonna play so many plants here. It's gonna be awesome. All right. Um. All right. So let's go ahead and get our bushes down. Guys, that engine is so good. All right, let's go. Let's go ahead and play mine. I say we go ahead and play Food Factory too. It does. It does hit our plant production a little bit, but like we're not going to need it. It yeah. just doesn't matter. I think it's okay. Yeah, and we want the money off it, so we might as well just do it now. And it's a thing we can use our steel. So completely.
Dude, next turn's gonna be fun. Yeah, it's gonna be sick, isn't it? We're gonna play like <laughs> we're gonna play like nine plants. We might even be able to get this heat bump. Oh, interesting. Because we're gonna have thirteen plants, and then we're gonna get eight more. So we're gonna have thirteen plus eight. I don't know. You figure that out. That's a lot. Actually, we're gonna have <laughs> one one less because we're gonna we're gonna cut our plant production one with this. Twenty plants. Well, twenty plants. Which means that if we played our plants here, that will give us 22. And then uh, 23 will be one plant short. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have played that this turn. It, it'll be okay. We'll figure out a way. Oh, no. We could play kelp farming. Well, we may not have the money for that. but um... Okay. So then the next question is, do we fund... Do we fund landlord? So I was thinking about a board just now. Like we're we're set up. Oh no, we're not set up for banker. Never mind. No one's gonna uh, fund scientist banker. We're doing fine. Thermos, we're getting crushed, and miner, we're doing okay. Yeah. So I we're not that bad. Honestly, we could just wait. I think we're doing well enough there. Yeah. Let's just wait because we want to have a big turn next turn. We're gonna want that little bit of extra. Money. I agree. All righty. Let's see what we got here. Come on, man. What do we want? AI? Or no, anti -graph? But That's already taken. Uh, we definitely don't need new... Artificial Lake would be good. That's actually quite good for us. That is good for us. Um, tech stress power is also good. But we don't have anything that we really need power for other than card draw and GHG, which we don't need. Well, if we get another city, we do. That's true. Um, Artificial Lake is the safer play. It lets us play a bunch of plants this turn. Okay, yeah, do it. Um, and one of these is going to come around, I think. And even nuclear power might be a good pickup for us. I would actually be case. okay with nuclear power. Wow, mining consortium? Oh, uh, I think that's the card to take for sure. Well, we could pass it. Which way are we passing? Even it's down? A, it's a Jovian. We're passing wow. it to this guy. I think he's going to have to take it because he can't pass it to this guy. I think we pass it. We don't need it. But do we need anything else here? Like mineral deposits, okay. I think we just, we just cut Actually, uh, actually Martian Survey. No, no, you can't play that. It's still It's still at four. But I think we just cut it. I don't. I don't want them to draw cards. If he plays asteroid mining and hits this guy, I don't care. Oh wait, neither of us have titanium production. He can't even play it. Yeah, we uh, we can definitely pass this. It, it's well. Who's playing the Jovians? J Tam. Yeah. No. Hold on. No, oh, okay, it's the other guy. Yeah, let's just take Asteroid Mining. Yeah, I, th I think that's the play. Sorry, I got. I thought the other guy was taking it. Ooh, Protected Valley? That is perfect. Oh nice. my gosh, that's so good for us right now. Are you kidding me? That's really good. Because it gives us a way to spend that uh, uh, steel. Yep. We have two spots for it, too. Wow. That's gross. Okay. That's a good draw for us. Um we have a stacked hand, man. We're going to get the bump with Demos, too, of this, this ocean placement. Do we need to slow roll for that, though? Yeah, a little bit. So he's got... We want to hit him next turn when he's got seven plants. <laughs> the dead fury. <laughs> this generation is going to be lit! Oh, oh, yeah. So let's take these... Oh, do you want to take the power just in case we need it? I think we... Yeah, I think we do. Yeah, I don't know though if we really need it anymore. It's it's a hedge, right? I mean, I th like the problem we is we're gonna be a little cash poor this time. So we have, if we take nine, then we barely have enough to play ice asteroid. That will give us some money back. It will and a bunch and a bunch of steel. Oh well, no, that that's Demos. Never mind. I'm I'm cool taking this as a hedge if you want. If I don't know, I, I haven't done the math so. 
if you have and you're not with it, then don't. I'm cool. I'm cool with it. Whatever. We're all good. So let's do. Let's start off with Ice Asteroid. Let's see here. He's got a bump. He does not. So I think it. I don't want to set them up for the. Um... That's what I'm saying, man. Like, do we need to slow roll that? Yeah, well, we could just play our plant and then and then pass. Right. I think that's the play. I mean, the other thing we could do is go ocean, ocean. This gives us six back. This, so that's two. So that we've got seven. That's 21 cash back. That puts us like basically playing Protected Valley for free. That's pretty good. So we go Ice Asteroid, and then we can Protected Valley right after it. That bumps it to here. Yeah, that's exactly right, Munson. So we don't lose that spot. I, I mean, honestly, dude. And then on the next turn, we get the heat bump. Maybe we just let them have this, and we play Ice Asteroid. It's it's pretty good for us, dude. So uh, what, what we definitely we definitely play our plant right now. I mean, there's no doubt about that. Um. So what, tell me, say again what you want. I'm to sorry, do. I'm I'm thinking about a lot of things here. So yeah, me too. The thing about the the thing about ice asteroid that's good is that we play plant or we play ocean, ocean, and we can immediately play protected valley right here to get two cash back, another couple of plants, and and uh, secure that spot. Um, okay, let's start by playing a plant. And let's play it here. Okay, that seems good. And skip. So we're let's think about this. So we're three bumps away on on oxygen track. Which so let's say we play ice asteroid. We get eight plants back. Then we go. No, we get we end up with six plants back in that configuration. 2 plus 4, 6, 11. We play 1, we play Protected Valley. That bumps us another, and then we have... Let me think about this. So 6, 11. We have 3, 4, 5. Gosh, we're just a little bit short to get all of it. So this gives us another plant, too. Um, plus 2 more here. I think we might be able to get this heat bump this generation. If we if we ice asteroid and take these two spots right here. Okay, that'd be cool. A safer play would be to play to take these two spots because I haven't counted up all the plants yet. But then we might be a little short. I think we'd still have enough money. The protected valley. Um, I think, okay, so let's do a little math here. So right now we have five plants. He's got, the other thing is that we're going to have to meet this out so that we can do two actions to do it. I think we just do this now, dude. I think we'd do it anyway, so just... Yeah, let's just do it now. See what happens. Oh, let's see the plants here. Oh, perfect. Five plants. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here's the thing. I'm pretty confident we're going to take this spot for sure. The question is, do we take this spot or this spot? This is safer to make sure we get to do everything. This has a little higher upside because we, we get a little more cash back. But I think probably just take this, huh? Yeah, I think so. Okay. No, it's not okay. that big of an upside to me. 
we're gonna hit all right and then we're gonna play this right now and I'm gonna play it okay so let's do our math here we're gonna have protected valley which takes us to fifth so we need to put it right here yeah right here because this gives us the the plants the, this will be perfectly eight plants because we're gonna get three more plants, four more actually. Oh, then we. Yeah, then we're that's, good. More, that's more than enough. Yeah, so let's place it here. All right, and then next this coming turn we can play fifteen, and oh my gosh, we have exactly enough money. That's lucky. Yeah, we have exactly enough money and exactly enough plants, except for one. <clears throat> now that's planning. Yeah. We are crushing plants, man. Yeah, we are crushing plants. We're crushing this game is what we're crushing. <laughs> this has been fun. I'm, you know, I'm not going to lie. Having three milestones makes it really fun. Yeah, that's... Check that out, dude. <laughs> That is so satisfying. And if somebody were to take this spot, it's it's it, it does kind of suck for us because it's. But we could put it here. Don't ignore the milestones, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, that's good. They just didn't hit our plants. These guys are building these crazy economies, but this game's going to be over very quickly. Yep. I don't think they're going to have time to convert that into enough points, but we shall see. If he's if he's holding a bunch of multipliers, it could be got yeah, one joke. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he's got enough to uh, to really stop us here. Water splitting plant. Oh, okay. 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 Setting up for next turn. All right, here we go, dude. We got we got to put our plan into action. Sweet. Dude, look at that city. Look at that Noctis, man. That's beautiful. Oh, I forgot that triggers that twice too. Yeah. So good. <laughs> look at that. Now are you happy that we didn't that we placed this thing here because you know protect our, our the city? Uh, it doesn't matter, honestly. I don't think it mattered. <laughs> it Who knows? Matter. Though maybe. Dude, we have a lot of points coming down next turn too. I know because we're gonna be able to play Demos into Artificial Lake into we we gotta get kelp farming down. Yeah, that's online. I mean, we're just crushing the board right now, too. Look how many points we have on the board. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 points on the board, plus 15 here. So we're 27 points ahead. We really need another city above that ocean. Dude, Carpe, ground game strong. <laughs> so strong. So strong. We did set him up for the uh, for the ocean bonus, but that's completely fine. I'm I'm not worried about that. Can't have it all, or can we? Wow, he didn't take it. Oh no, he was just taking the. Okay, I thought he bought that. And I was like... Um. Oh, by the way, we're also um, 11 points ahead of this guy on TR rating. <laughs> we're like 40, 40 points oh. ahead of him right now. <laughs> That's with like three negative points, too. That was a good last turn for us, huh? That was sweet. That was super God. fun. I, it's so fun when like the viral enhancers thing just, just keeps popping off it's so good viral enhancers is just so good like imagine this game without viral enhancers have like half our points right 
Um, all right. Ooh, Lake Marineris. Oh, don't mind if I do. That's a good one. Um, yeah, that's passing that's, that's... magnetic field generator is annoying, but I don't think that that's that. I don't big think it's gonna tank it. Yeah, this guy doesn't have a way to use it. I think we just take Lake Marineris because he's gonna bump the heat right now, which means that we're gonna be able to play it right away. Yeah, it does shut off our artificial lake and our convoy. Oh, um, we want we want the convoy. Well, it's really the lake that we want more, but. Uh, I mean, that card is really good. It's four points. Like, we could just skip the lake. Wait, so why does it shut up? Oh, protected halves. Yeah, we've got to cut the terraforming. Oh, yeah, I mean... We're passing odd up. Passing to JTAM. Wow, he passed that to us? This guy passed it to us. And JTAM's the one going for it. No, it's Mitch that's going for it. Oh, oh. I think we just cut that's it. That's weird. That is oh, weird. Man. There must have been another multiplier in there. Ooh, commercial district. We're definitely taking that. I really wanted protected tabs. No, because um, cause Carpe, J Mitch is the one with the multipliers. That's very confusing. There must have been a second multiplier in that pack. Uh, that would be one explanation. Well, no, there, there's not, because we already saw the water imports earlier, and he already played Io. Yeah, I just don't get it. Okay, so here's what I think we should do. Now that we have, now that we have uh, Commercial District, I think we should take Commercial District and Marineris. He's going to bump... And we're going to have two oceans left. We'll play Lake Marineris. We will skip Artificial Lake, but we'll use our steel to play Nuclear Power and uh, Commercial District. What's Why do you want to play Commercial District at this point? Is it good? Do we have a good spot for it? Yeah, it's two points. There's that. There's a couple. There's a bunch of spots for two points. Oh, yeah. There's some good spots down there. Okay. Um, sure. Okay. I think that's a strong play. Um. The other thing is that it picks up plants for us too. I mean, it's if we want, we could put it, or we could put it over here. Yeah, I'd prefer to do that. Either way, let's see our hand. Because, like, um, okay, what's what's our first animal card that we can get down? It's gonna be fish. Okay, so two degrees. Yeah. We also have herbivores is going to be very good for us too. I prefer fish. We want them both though because, I mean, we definitely want to put all the points on fish. Right. Okay, there's the heat conversion. So I think we start this generation with Lake Marineris. Oopala. Okay, let's see where he builds it. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Damn. Um, yeah. That's that's fine. That's a, we knew that that was going to ultimately happen. Um, so let's go ahead and let's go ahead and get the Lake Marineris down. Okay. And I think we take we take the steel now because we have a plan. I think for that. so. So we take steel, and then we take plants. Uh, yeah, plants and cash here. It does. We could just put the commercial district right here, honestly. Pretty good spot for it. Just uh, uh, yeah, I see what you're saying. All right, we do have really good economy though. Let's just go ahead and play this plant up here. Yep. We really need another city down though. I mean, we're crushing this game so hard. I don't even think it's. <laughs> this is a nice block with uh. With um. Commercial, commercial district. district, but we lose a point off it. Just you know, I, I I guess it just I wonder if at this point it even matters. Eh, we're just you know we're play how you would optimally play it. Still have demos. Yeah, I think we're gonna lead next generation off with demos. Or we could do it now because it just gives us all I was, the steel. I, I was gonna say it might not be online anymore. I want who do they still have heat bumps? 
He he does not. He has one. Okay. And we lead off next generation. So I think okay, it's so... likely that we'll have that. Yeah, that's a good combo. So, but that is another heat bomb. Yeah. So do you want to? Do you want to just do the demos then? I might want to. I'm fine with that. So, if we demos, it also gives us a bunch of steel, so we can play our nuclear. We all might be able to get GHD down too, which is good for uh, thermalist. Oh yeah. Because uh, he's using. Well, now he's still got a. Yeah, uh, no, it's all yeah. Never mind. <laughs> Taking our oxygen. Come on. All right, so let's go ahead and let's go ahead and demos. They are not gonna like this. But I almost hit our own plants. <laughs> All right. right, took from Helion. Interesting. And then let's go ahead and play. Uh, Fish see. is on now. Oh yeah, we should just do that now, huh? Yep. Um, only problem is, okay, let's see how this works with our steel. So we have 22, and this is 26. So I think we want to play the commercial district play first so that we have enough, we get the money back. And I think we should put it over here because then we can play all three on the same turn. Okay. So let's do this first. Then if this comes around to us, no matter what, there's going to be a good spot here because we can play it here or we can play it here. Wait, what did you just play? Nuclear power. Oh, okay. We needed a power for yeah, uh, gotcha. commercial district. Just so so now we're going to play commercial district, which will give us the rebate from the oceans, and then we can play mm -hmm. fish. Yeah, I like it. So then we want to, now that we have fish down, we, we're set up for a large convoy. Completely. Completely. Although we may have better things to do, honestly. Than large convoy. I mean, it's it's basically six. It's six points for thirty six. It's. I mean, it's good, but it's not like amazing. Oh, anti grab. He was trying to get that on all game. Sound familiar? I don't know what you're talking about, man. <laughs> I don't play that card. I play ground game, Nima. Yeah. Exclusively plant strategy. That's Nate. I play ground game. That's it. All right. So we're going to play commercial district. You cool with playing it here? Yeah, I like it. It's going to look weird. They're going to be like, what? That's yeah, fine. It's six, six credits back. We actually have enough. We could play it here. And still have enough to play the fish. I don't know why would you though? Um, just to put it in a spot where you might be able to play a city for more points to get more value. Mm. But and I, I think this guy's out. But whatever, we'll play. Where do you want to play it? You want to play it here or here? I think the first one's good. Let's go ahead and play our fish. Kind of sequenced that poorly with the herbivores, but. Don't do not do us, don't do us. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would never do that. I would never do that. What are you talking about? Dude. Sweet. Get the aminals online. All right, so next turn we can play. Oh, we have enough for GHG. We can just do that this turn. We should do that just to have some heat. It puts pressure on them. Bah. It's basically free. I mean, bah. I mean, I'd sooner keep the. Look, he's going to be at, okay, the heat's out. He's going to be 11, 13, 14. He's going to be at, he's going to put six on two. Yeah, we're losing that either way. There's, there's no way. <laughs> yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. We'll just keep it. We're we sooner win minor than, than that. You're right, you're right. You're right. 
You right. Dude, why you gotta be so rubbing it in my face, dude? Um, dude, we're crushing landlord. That's another oh, yeah. consideration. Yeah, we're yeah. That's true. We can do that. No problem. Hmm, beam. He God, he passed one of the multipliers. He must have had it. He must have had another one. Banker, we're good on banker. We're pretty. The scientist is so risky. Minor, surprisingly, we're doing fine. It's not our best, but it's not our worst. I, th I mean, landlord is just the clear. the clear. Yeah, I mean, it might be better just to do landlord than to play convoy. Convoy six points for thirty six cash. Like that's a lot. Um, we don't have that much money. We fund an award. Play a city, maybe. Hmm. You may you raise an interesting point. We definitely want the game to end next turn. So we're at yes. we have twelve plants. So we need to be cognizant of that. Huh. Oh, I'm glad I didn't forget to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I almost forgot that. <laughs> Let's just remember, Nima, that we are starting the point tabulation 31 points ahead of this guy, plus <laughs> however many points we have on board, plus all of these points. Yeah, it's going to be a slaughter. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, minus 2, 14. So we are starting the game 44, 45 points ahead of this guy. Wowie. And we are two VP behind him, so 43 points. So he needs to make up 43 points, Nima. Do you think he can do it? <laughs> Actually, no, because he's going to get second on Thermal. So 41 points. Yeah, I see it happening. <laughs> it's going to happen for him. Just, just put on Eye of the Tiger and get to business. Got a lot of money. Possible. Is possible. All right, so I think we're passing now. Yeah, poor kelp farming. We really wanted to get that down, but it just it just didn't happen. Wah, wah. Yeah, that would have been really nice, actually. Well, is it really stupid to do now? No, it's still good, but because just by itself it makes six plants, right? So like it's 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 very and it, so it's very likely to end up being a two or three pointer, um, and and it 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 also works on the um, it works on our tardigrades or whatever not tardigrades but it works on our decomposers which it will give us another point and eco zone. It's just it's quite good. Did an inter interesting time to do toll station. It's uh, late game. I wonder if he. I think he got. What did I see there? Did he get like five back or something? I, I didn't see how much. He Nine. Got. Nine. Yeah. I missed well, nothing. Nothing gets by this mustache. Except some food. food. <laughs> <laughs> some food. And if yeah, and even then, no, some some of it will stay. I need to get a little more mustache wax after this game. Oh, come just... on. He had our Aww. insects. Come on now. That would have been fun. I know. How many do we have? Six. Oh, man. Dude, <laughs> now you need to get like a, a vest and um, a bow tie. And you can just be super hipstered out. I want one of those bowler hats. <laughs> yeah there you go <laughs> dude this is fun playing with an hour man i feel it's so luxurious i know right there's no pressure where's there's your whiskey no... dude yeah dude i that that was last night <laughs> did you, did you uh, drink a little bit of whiskey for the new year well like many people i 
I took up uh, bartending as a as a hobby in pandemic, and I started making my like from scratch margaritas and boulevardiers and. Do you have the little shaker thing? Yep. Dude, that's rad. <laughs> you know, I'm I'm kind of a teetotaler, you know that, but I I have actually <laughs> been um uh I've been drinking a little bit more alcohol as a new year's resolution. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um but uh I drink so I have I've been making tacos. I've been making like my own tacos. You can do that tonight. And I like having a beer when I have tacos. And my tacos have gotten better and better. Like I'm actually getting to the point. I bought a skillet so I can make the steak good. Uh, it's dude, like, are, you making, are you making carnitas? Yeah, yeah. Like a, well, they're more like asada because the carnitas are a little more challenging. But I, dude, I used to make carnitas. Oh, really? Dude, I love those carnitas, man. It's not that hard either. They're so good when you like cook them first and then you like fry them so they get the little crispies on the edge. But you got it. Yeah. That's so good. Yeah, you just put in the slow cooker with all the ingredients and then once it's done, you fry it up. That's a sad little city right there, dude. <laughs> That's a Robbie city. <laughs> oh, yeah, the ecosystems. Oh. He's down to five cards, though. So, like, it, I don't think it could be that bad for us. <laughs> Munson, that's a um, that's not a great stream viewing because <laughs> with the stash it definitely gets into the stash. You know, like I the problem. You know, so the main reason is that I'm basically going bald at this point, and so the stash <laughs> is a distractor, so people can't see my hair loss. It's the um, what do you the, mean, dude? What, what what do you mean? What do you mean? What do I mean? Oh yeah, you don't see me rubbing my head. Oh yeah, well you, but you wear it well, dude. I'm oh, gonna, I know. I'm gonna look dumb when I'm bald. <laughs> I don't look <laughs> I don't rugged know. like you. Do Do you not have like a well shaped head or what? Well, clearly not. It's <laughs> not shaved at all, but. Um, oh, no, well shaped, shaped. Oh, oh, shaped. I thought you said shaved. Um, well, I don't know because it's always had a hair on it, Nima. I mean, I. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Colony oh, ship is nice, but wow, oh, yeah. this urbanized area is so good right now. That's pretty sweet. Because look, it's like right here at three points. That Where is are we really passing cool. to? Odd up. We're passing we're passing to JTAM. So I think JTAM will take Either one of them can play Colony Ship. I think. Oh, ugh, that's gross. I think I'd rather just take urbanized, but this I card's think so good too, because you want. We do want another city, even if it's not the best placement. It's just so. Ch it's so much cheaper. Yeah, exactly. I think we're taking urbanized. It also gives us another plant spot right here because we'll. I don't care putting a plant here if he's got. Saying, because, you know, yeah. yeah. So. Don't care uh, about any of these really. No. Got the contact so people can't get more stuff. Yep. So I think we lead this generation off by playing urbanized and a and then a plant. Urbanized plant, yep. So we're definitely taking investment one. Um I guess the other thing is we could play urbanized over here and just nerf the city, but Well We we get four points out of our urbanized rather than that. Yeah, I like the urbanized play. It's good. He can he can do his own thing. He's got seven plants. I don't think we have a way to destroy them. No. Wow, we have seventy money. That's awesome. We're taking this urbanized. I think that we're and we're gonna take investment loan. I think that's it. Yep. All right. So here's the question. We do want to get herbivores down, but if we go urbanized, I think we can slow roll the urbanized. I don't think it has to be. I don't think anybody's going to place a plant here. And we already have the two best things that go here, which are, like, I think we can float this around. What? Do, I'm sorry, what do you mean? 
Well, we want to get this herbivores down because we get points off it every time we play a plant. Right. But we want to play the plant right now. So. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not super sad if we don't get herbivores down. If we, if we were gonna do that, you know, it was a long time ago. No, herbivores is still good, dude. I know it's still no, I know it's still good, but like, I don't know. Well, let's do this. Um, I guess the other question is, do you want to start by funding an award? Mm, yeah. Yeah, landlord's good, man. Do it while it's still fourteen. All right, let's do the landlord. And let's go ahead and play this plant. Well, 13, 14. I don't want to float these plants. I mean, I, I mean, I okay, guess... we'll place it, place it where we were going to place it anyway, like above the, the yellow here. Yeah. Then it's just telegraphing and somebody, well, I guess they'd have to like, what other no, that's true. If they had like land claim or something, that right. would be it's so annoying. So I think that we just play the plant here. This is pretty well disguised. It gives us some plants back. I think that's pretty good. <laughs> is it safe to float them though? I don't know. Like, oh, it... oh no, we want to play this herbivores right now. Let's I think it might be okay to float them. Yeah, I think we're going to float them. So I think we just play herbivores. I'm fine with that. Okay. We're going to hit point Luna. The herbivores is good because it just, it just triggers everything. Yep. Man. All right, so next turn we will play urbanized and we will play our plant. And I think I think Nima that we I think we may end up abandoning convoy and just trying to end the game. It depends on what these guys do. But we do not want to go another generation. Yeah, I think you're right. So it, makes me, it would make me sad to not play convoy, but so I think what we do is we go okay, so how can we end it? So we go Plant here. Plant, then we're two plants off because we're at 14. Then we do buy a plant over here. Play a plant. That gives us, that's three plants. I don't think we can end it on our own. We're going to need somebody to make a plant. Yeah, I don't perfect. see it. Okay, perfect. So now these guys are going to... Oh, yeah. Well, and I forgot, this guy has water splitting plants, so he's going to do right. that. So right. we're, we're okay with that. Well, but how do we get our sec those plants we need? Kelp farming? Uh, that's it. That's great. That'd be great. Kelp farming is, would be solid. Um, and it might actually give us another plant at the, on the back end here because we'd be at eight. So right. that's, that seems good. Capital. Okay, that's fine. Okay, yeah, game's gonna end this this generation. So let's just go ahead and we'll get our urbanized down, and then we can kind of figure out what we want to do. I'm gonna overpay for this urbanized because I don't think we have anything else to spend this on. I guess we have artificial lake. Yeah, so which guess, we still have enough for. Yeah, okay, I won't then, because that's just a point by itself. Oh. Oh, I think we had enough anyway. We had, we were short one. Or right. I spent one of my own money. God, we were freaking dominating. That was I think I made a little mistake there. I meant to put it here to get those two plants, but I think we'll still be okay. Oh. Um oh yeah, no, that's right. Oh yeah, because the kelp farm's gonna be too now that was stupid oh shoot 
Um, yeah, that was a little error. I, we can just buy a plant. Yeah, we, yeah, 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 we're okay. Phew. We also, Disaster <laughs> averted, maybe. We, we were going to lose. We also have investment loan to give us another 7 cash, so we'll get 48, so we could buy two more plants. Yeah, investment loan. Uh, right. You know, I've come, I've come around on that card. Investment loan. Card. Investment loan is yeah. awesome. Yeah, it's good at the end. Oh, predators, come on now. Ah, oh, well, that's just one. That's annoying though. It's a two point swing. And we might want to place another city. What if we play a city here? Uh, great. We could play a city out here because we already have a plant. Gives us six cash back, seven, eight. Two greenhouses. Okay. All right, game's over. So now I think we can just slow roll, see what people do. Let's draw a card, dude. <laughs> I haven't done that in a while. Big asteroid is not going to help us. So now the question is, do we... We may actually want to skip kelp farming and just play convoy then. Because that's this is six points. I think that's our best, I think that's our best money scoring proposition is just convoying. Yeah, kelp farming is two points. It's two points, although it does give us another plant. No, it doesn't. Because well, actually, gonna... it doesn't, doesn't yeah. it? Because so we'll be at five. Do. Because of my mistake, we'll be at nine, 10, 11, 12. Good predators. Boo. He's just too many points behind though. I don't I don't think there's any chance. I know I'm just doing it. it for posterity. I don't understand why he didn't take that terraform at Ganymede, but he's got, I guess it's just three Jogans. Dude, so what are you thinking about preludes in this one? <laughs> um the question I'm asking myself is, did, did it ruin the game? I have to say no. It didn't in this one. But I don't think that... Um, we, didn't, we didn't have, like, a busted start. We had a good start. We got, we got you know... A couple hey, of, risk and trust. Got a couple of the really good preludes, so... We did. That, that prelude that gave us six money production, that's, that thing's busted. Yeah, it's really good. I mean, without that, uh, there's no way we win, right? I mean... I don't know if I'd go that far. It generated 50-something cash for us. Yeah. Still dude, alive. Dude, do you understand? <laughs> I mean, we're so... We're probably so far ahead that it, you know... It's still fine anyway. It's a little bit of a bummer having to pass that to him. Why did he play that in that order? <laughs> you know i'm not gonna be i'm not gonna be critical because i have well i've definitely done that before all right he's got he's down to five cards let's just sell a big asteroid here we're going to slow roll let's just finish no dude we're, we're slow rolling here for maximum suspense Getting hungry. Well, the reason is we can also fund the last award depending on what, what happens here. Actually, not really. Hey, Geddon, thanks for following. Actually, could we get Banker? No. Nine. Yeah, I think we're just gonna, we're just <laughs> gonna take our six points and go home. The anticipation. Sure. Nima, you just you just like to just like end quickly. Um wow. So he did have the last one. Let's see how many points did he get. 
33. Wow. 15. Not even not enough. Not enough. <laughs> Carpe, I just I'm just saying what I'm saying, which is that Nima just likes to end quickly. And I'm <laughs> you know, I like to take a more languorous approach. I like to enjoy every moment of my victory. <laughs> So much so that it gets boring. <laughs> well, sometimes, but it's a good problem to have, Nima. <laughs> but, but really? Interesting. I mean, I've been boring my whole life. <laughs> I, there's nothing there's nothing new about that. <laughs> um, well... So I've been getting back into chess, Nima. I know. I uh, I got I watched the Queen's Gambit, which was I didn't actually did not think was very good, but really, uh, yeah, I thought it was actually quite bad. Interesting. Did you like it? I've only watched the first episode, but I thought it was quite good. Yeah, the first episode is fine, but then it gets bad. Interesting. Hot take. You know, like that. I wanted to like it, but um, I didn't. And I think that the the main issue is like, I thought it was a little misogynist. Like, okay, so um, basically the way they portrayed all the men in the show was like these people that really study the game and like are, you know, really studious about whatever, you know, like they study, put the time in. And then like this this woman, they just like, made it sound like she was just this natural that never studied and almost didn't even understand her own. Hey, thanks boo. Uh, almost didn't even understand her own skills. You know, it was like, like almost like this, just like somehow cheapened it, you know, a little bit. My, I don't know. It's hard to explain. Um, also, I thought the character development was pretty flat. Like you didn't, you didn't really care about her that much. Um, she didn't give a lot. I mean, she, like you're kind of like okay, she's a good chess player, but like, what did she learn? Like she didn't really have a journey. I, I don't want to give anything away, but like, yeah, let's let's be careful. I don't I don't know. I can't, obviously I can't speak to that stuff, but yeah, I, I don't know. Is it like like she's a natural, right? She didn't need to study. I know, but like, I you know, I, there's like, I don't know. It's hard to explain though. Like. Wouldn't you have more respect for somebody that had to work hard to get something? Yeah, I, I see what you're saying. I don't know. Let, let, me, let me watch it more and I'll, I'll have this conversation again. Okay. All right. So, well, we, do we have it? We have exactly enough for kelp farming because we can sell these cards. That's amazing. <laughs> That's what you guys came here for, right? A bit of f feminist thought. Carpe, what's what's Mary Sue? Oh boy. Do you know? I, I can't define it, so I'm not gonna try, but Okay. Minor. Oh. Okay, well we're second on that, so that's fine. Um Yeah, Carpe. I guess I although Rey in Star Wars, like she Yeah, I think that's kinda of true, Carpe. Like they didn't and I think that to truly like connect to the character, you need to see them grow in some way. You need to see them struggle and like overcome some obstacles and isn't that the drug addiction? Yeah, but like and, and, and just watch it and we can talk about it, but I didn't think that like they did that very well. I mean okay. um I'm not convinced that she like overcame her drug addiction. Let's put it that way. Okay. Um, all right. So don't let me sell cow farming. Don't let me do it, dude. I'm I'm trying. You're Stop. you're moving fast. Stop, dude. <laughs> Boy, we really squeezed out every point there, huh? Gosh, we did. The cow farming so good because we got two more points off it from here too. Like that was just a killer cow farming. All right, and we're going to be able to make two more plants. 
So we can put them right here and right here. <laughs> and then another plus two points on purple. Dude, this was this was a um anyway, pretty good. Do you play chess good? No, I mean I, I know how and I, I used to play, but I, I never it's not I, I don't like it because to be like really good at it or any good at it, you just like have to memorize crap. And that's not appealing to me. I agree. You know what I mean? I, I, I agree with you. Like, but, who cares if, like, the, uh, memorization does not equal intelligence, you know what I mean? No, but, like, I, so here's the here's what I usually have done when I've gotten into chess. So I played a ton of chess when I was in medical school. And what, what my strategy was always was just to, ooh, that was a good, uh, good media archives. Um, ooh, that was a good one for him. Uh, I try and learn openings that allow me to get to a, a, an even middle game without having like just made some major tactical error. And then from there, chess is very fun because it's like this. It, it very, it really is very tactical, and and there's a lot of like um, there's a lot of like cool creative play and stuff like that that is fun. But I completely agree with you. It is not fun to just get crushed in the middle game. <laughs> Thanks, Risk. Um, it's not fun to get crushed in your opening because you didn't know some little wrinkle of the Rui Lopez or something, and then like some dude right. that just studied for you know a lot. So like the reality is that if if you're not willing to put in a ton of time, you're gonna cap where you can de get developed to. But it can still be fun if you just have a couple friends that you play with. You know, sure, it's yeah. not like um... I don't know. Part part of it is probably just I'm like angry that i don't have a good memory <laughs> so you really like, don't need a huge memory like i mean the so okay so when i play white i always play this thing called the king's indian attack which is where you move your your kind of you fianchetto i don't know if you know what that term is but you basically put your bishop you move a pawn forward and then put your bishop under it so you have that little little house of pawns with a bishop underneath and then you castle underneath right okay. so like um What's cool about it is that you you don't really try and develop the center early, which is like total like uh, the opposite of what in most openings are all about. And then you the goal is that you uh, you you castle early so you're defensive, and then once you kind of have that set up, then you move towards the. And I, again, I'm not an expert. If there are people that are really good, I'm probably saying it wrong. But um, I found that playing white. That gets that often will get me to a, a middle game where I'm, you know, I have a chance to win. I haven't just like screwed up. And there's so many openings uh, when you're playing black. Almost everybody plays pawn e4 as their first move, and you can just learn some defenses against that. Like I've been playing the French defense, and you do have to memorize a little bit of stuff for that. But then the goal is to get you to an even middle game, and then it's super fun, you know. All these, all these names, man. Dude, whatever, dude. <laughs> dude, look at you. I'm. I, I like using the, the, the Yugoslavian assault. <laughs> That's my favorite. Dude, but you look like somebody that would like the Yugoslavian assault. I mean, that's pretty much the best move in the game, from what I understand. This is like in Magic when people are like, um, "Dude, Magic, it doesn't take skill. You just have to buy the cards, and then you win." Right, it's right, like completely right. false, right? I mean, you know, I, to to some degree, right? I mean, like, if you if you, you have a terrible deck and someone has an awesome deck, you're you're gonna lose like nine times out of ten. Yeah, but dude, you don't show up to a a. a um, who do you think won, dude? <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Holy uh, cow! <laughs> Hey Nemo, we won! Whoa, dude! It was it was all the stash, dude. That was a stash victory. Thirty-two points, man. Uh, let's just take a minute to marvel at this victory. Fifteen points in milestones, just domination. Um. Uh, yes, risk. I played. So we played. We've played three matches. We are three and zero so far. Um. The fourth match is supposed to be coming up here pretty soon. I need to email the people. And the other person 
that I'm going to be playing against in the fourth match is also 3-0. So I think that that will be a competitive game. I think we'll that, probably lose that one, but whatever. That, that third game's on YouTube, by the way, if you want to watch it. Oh, you posted that one already? Oh, yeah. Dude, That oh, yeah, that's right. That third game was super, super fun. That was one of the most fun games, like, because I was playing with Nima, and we basically, you know, spoiler alert, we just got the uh, the sick uh, science strat going early. It was just awesome. Well, well, also, you know, no spoilers, but one of the other players does a very, very interesting move. <laughs> oh, I forgot. That's right. That was that game. Um, you should check that one out. That one is a gem. It is a gem. I, it, I have to say, we may have won, but the moral victory goes to the other player who played... <laughs> but don't, don't, don't say it. Don't say it. Perhaps the ballsiest play I have ever seen in terraforming. Let, let's just leave it at that. It was a power move. Carpe remembers. Well, back back to this game. So, yeah, we this was a very fun game as well, I gotta say. This was. The, I'm, I'm glad we went the, the plant strategy. That was really fun. I remember when Q was doubting us with, uh, you know, for economy, and then, like, we yep. won by 32 points. So, it's Q... <laughs> scoreboard scoreboard buddy right there <laughs> boom <laughs> so yeah okay scoreboard. well so let's let's talk about scoreboard, scoreboard. <laughs> okay you done you done yes, dude i'm done i'm done okay well let's talk about this was our first game with preludes um so what do we think about that how did it go okay actually this is a great time to talk about this nema um we should tack it onto this video. We have had a lot of comments in the chat asking us to review in a formal fashion preludes. So I don't actually feel like doing a full video on that. I don't know what your thoughts are, but why don't we do? Why don't we do a little? You know, I I, I actually think it might be worth doing like, why don't we like preludes? Just have a discussion. It could well, be an interesting. Why don't we just do it now, and then we could refer people to this video. We could, but it might just be nice having another video. I think I would like that too. Just like all the videos. I, I, I do like videos, yeah. Then why don't we just talk about it now and then you can uh, clip this out and post it as a video. Do you want me to switch over to the, uh, we can just switch our styles right now and go to the strategy one and just make a bit another video. Well, I kind of I kind of need to go, man. Dude, 20 minutes on preludes? You can have 20 minutes. Nah, I need to go cook. What, come on. Dude, whatever. You can't say no to me when I've got this stash. <laughs> I can and will. Um, but like, I don't know. Let, let's give a let's give a quick little reaction. A teaser. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Here's my thoughts on preludes. Uh, I'm gonna give bullet points, and then you can give your thoughts. Okay. Okay. Preludes. Do not like them. <laughs> Here's why. Number one, it shortens the game. Uh, usually by about two generations. Which, I, I, when you say that, I always point out that that's what most people like about it. I know. Number two, <laughs> because the game is shorter, it cuts off combo play. It's right. harder to assemble devastating combos in a nine or ten generation game. Number three, it creates more variance because there are certain draws, uh, combinations of preludes and corporations in opening 10 cards that are just completely busted and absurd. It doesn't happen all the time, but it happens enough that it, it's not, that, it, that it, it, can, it makes it a higher variance game. And if you're a good player, in general, you want games that are lower variance so that you can win even when your cards aren't that great. Yep. Number four or five or whatever, wherever I'm at, last one. If you don't have good cards in your opening 10, it is very hard to catch up because of the other things that we already talked about. However, in the base game, if you have a lackluster opening 10, it is completely acceptable to just pass your turn on Gen 1 and, and go for a big Gen 2 and 3. But um, based on what you get in the draft or if you have to oh, standard project an ocean to pick up cards or whatever, you can overcome a poor opening 10 in the base game 
But if you're playing Preludes, because the game is so much shorter and and other people are likely to have more synergy than you if you have a bad 10, you're toast. Mm, that's there you an go. interesting there's point. My, there's my summary of Preludes. Yeah. Um, we can, we can, we know, we'll, we'll also discuss our pros. I think, you know, there's one or two pros. No, no. zero. <laughs> you said it yourself earlier this game, like the cards themselves are really cool. No, I'm kidding. I, th- th- the cards are really cool. And um, I don't know. I personally like making it a shorter game, but it, like in theory, in, in practice, it makes the game less fun. So, um, yeah, anyway, I don't know. I, I really think we should make another video out of that because like, we get we get asked that quite a bit. We get asked about doing preludes quite a bit. And it's like, well, you know, here's here's what we think about it. And why don't we just cut out what you and I just said and make a four minute strategy video, <laughs> and we can title it strategy video sixteen, whatever we're on, and just entitle it preludes suck. <laughs> Ep- epic like the clickbait. You won't believe what CFM said about preludes. I, actually, I'm going to take that back. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Um, I actually don't hate preludes. I think they're really cool. The cards are really cool. I think they do create new combinations of gameplay and stuff like that. I think that for a lot of people, they're a really cool addition. And I have nothing against preludes in that respect. I don't like preludes as a competitive uh, addition to terraforming. In fact, I don't like any of the expansions for competitive play because I think all of them um, dilute. Yes, because what you want for a tournament environment is something that's very skill testing. And I think that the base game is skill testing. When you're playing really good players, it gets a little less so because good players are going to exploit synergy in a such a way that there are even in the base game just broken combinations of cards but i'm okay with that it's a card game but i i feel like the original game is kind of where you want to be in terms of of center you know in terms of variance and in all of the expansions in my opinion add more variance in a way that i don't think is good for competitive play but it's totally fine if you just want to put it on the table and play it so I have nothing against Preludes in the abstract. I just don't like it as a tournament, uh, you know, thing or whatever. Yeah, I hear you. Okay, well, I think that's 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 good, man. Um, that was a good uh, little teaser. We'll we'll open it up a little bit when we actually talk about it. But um, yeah, GG, man. That was a fun game. Hey, Carpe, I've been doing what you described right there. That's how I've been playing lately: is using the corporations but not playing with the actual Preludes, and that's fun. I, I like that. You know what What I actually think, um, I know Nemo wants to go, so I'm just going to keep talking. <laughs> <laughs> here's, my, here's my thought, Nemo. Here's what I think we should do uh, for our tabletop experience. We should make, do you know what a cube is? Yeah, I've played one with you. Yeah, that's right. Okay, you know the cube. So what we should do is we should make a cube for terraforming. And the way that works is you basically take every single corporation that could be that isn't proprietary, right? Like the the Venusian ones that refer to floaters and stuff like that. Like you're not going to play those in the base game. But you take all of the corporations that are non-proprietary and you mix them together. And that's that's a bunch of corporations. That's they're up to like 24, 25 now. Then you take all of the project cards, all of the every single card that's printed in any expansion that um, that also works with the standard rules and you exclude the ones that are like specific for colonies and stuff like that, right? Mm-hmm. I get you. That's going to add another almost 60 cards at this point. Like it's a lot of cards. Okay. You put all of those into a cube um, and then you decide what cards are indispensable to the base game. And that's going to be all the Jovians, right? The, the Jovian multipliers and stuff like that. So you'll need to pull those out then you shuffle up the cube and you take 30 cards out. So oh, the, the point being is that when you play it that way, it adds another layer of variance and that you don't know what cards are going to necessarily come out during the game. Mm-hmm. But you kept the essential combo cards in there. Like I would always take out, I would always include anti-grav. <laughs> um, I would include anti-grav. 
Earth Catapult. Uh... No, that one I would I would I don't think that that's a necessary card. The Earth Catapult or Anti Grab is because if you play in such a way that you're looking for that specific payoff, you should you should have a reasonable expectation that the payoff is in the deck. Mm. But 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 um. I see what you mean. You see what I mean? But like Earth Catapult is not. It's a one card combo. It, like if you get it, great. If you don't, you don't. So by doing that, you're basically cycling out like a quarter of the deck every time. Like that's cool. It just makes it fun. It makes the experience different every time. You don't know what cards are in there necessarily. A lot of those other cards are really cool cards. And so you'd end up having this this experience where there's a certain amount of of variance in every single game. Okay. That I, I like your cube idea. That's cool. But let's sign off, dude. Gotta go. Um, dude, what else do you want to talk about, dude? <laughs> I want to talk about Shut Up. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, follow us on YouTube and Twitch. All right. Good Cardboard times. From Good Mars. Times. Twitter at Cardboard Mars. Thanks, everyone. All right. We'll see you on the next one.